So, how long until we let him sit there? I don't know. They still seem interested in speaking with any of us before. Kristen only comes out when it's time to eat, and then quickly goes back into isolation. I don't know what's going through their head. It not be good after, you know. You guys think too much. We'll be alright. Hey, Tristan, it's been a week now. we have kind of pooped up in this room ever since. Just wanted to come and say, we're all here for you, man. Yes, I decided to come check on you because I feel guilty. Don't let no one intimidate me, even if we're there. Maybe things would have been different. Feel guilty. Oh yeah? I feel guilty anyways, but whatever. Seems like stupid to think about anyways. Anyways, Emma, er, I mean Melia, wanted me to talk to you. She's on the main deck. She also said if you went up to talking, that's fine. True. She's somewhere on the main deck. Pokeball from August, read it. Hello there, Tristan. I'm really sorry and saddened from what happened to your mother. You're always so brave and did things without thinking. And you saw before. However, I must tell you something. I ended her death ever since we were locked up in the cell. She knew it was inevitable. She wanted me to give this to you if anything ever happened to her. This was a spawn from one of her... She wanted to give me a gift. Mother truly loved you. Itambamawa. Level 30 Mawile, Hypercutter, Steel Fairy. On Pass, Crunch, Fire Fang, Faint Attack, eh? Okay. <laughs> Party has been healed. We no longer need this for now. Let us go back and grab our shoulders all though. Or should we do Team Eevee? What's up, coming battle? Yeah. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. I can... Oh, I'm a fan. I'm sorry, Tristan. I wish I could play you a song. I would. I'm thinking of you. Sorry about your mother, Tristan. If only I were stronger. I'm still good at battling, but I should be, I guess. Of course, since your own is traumatizing. That's trauma that helps us grow as people. All key? That's for. Oh. Yeah, tennis potion. I love it. We have to buy hypers. That was pretty good on everything. Let's to grab the heal. Maybe in case we go on busy, busy, busy. Hey, sorry about your mom. we get back, I'm going to clean my house three times to show my appreciation. I believe there's enough food on this battleship. Hello? Kristen. Kristen, are you doing alright? How are you feeling? I've been worried to about you ever since. Well, we're glad to see you here. Yes, it's good to see you. Kristen, I just wanted to tell you how sorry I am for what happened. I really wanted to bring your mother with us. I spoke deep within the castle dungeon. What? I can't be serious. I cannot allow this. Please, Emma. In the event that Tristan's life is in danger, allow me to sacrifice myself. Their safety and everyone else. You asked something so cruel of me. 
I don't wish to see you throw away your life. If we work together, we can. <laughs> it's all right. I've decided this. I've made my peace. They were following her wishes. On a request to me. Okay. Thank you for understanding it. You've locked me. The only thing I could do about your mother that she was one of the bravest people that throw her life away to save ours, especially yours. That I'll sacrifice I'll never forget. Anyways, put that behind it. So something we wanted to ask you, Melia. Was your quest to save Tristan the only reason you were at Black and Reed Castle? That was my biggest reason, but it wasn't my only one. I was also there to investigate the castle. I discovered the reason why Team Zen held so many people in that castle. I found some interesting things, most notably that the cast that the island comprised of two land masses, two castle structures. I saw the second castle for myself while snooping around at night, and I couldn't get close to it. There seemed to be a barrier surrounding it for some reason. A barrier. That must mean it's for protecting something. Yes, and I thought more snooping and I've learned whatever they're hiding. It's a secret that even Zen admins aren't authorized for entry. Something that secret that Zen admins aren't even allowed to enter? So that would mean that only Madame X is allowed in that the castle. How could that be secret that they're willing to bar off their own members? Your guess is as good as mine. That scares me quite a bit. Same here. Although, I don't want to think about it. Besides trying to kill us, was there any other reason to kidnap us? Neb said something about trying to gather some energy from humans. Matt said, confident the battle created a specific type of energy. That, you mean like the dueling energy you create from dueling? They need some type of energy also in the dark. Okay, I'm done talking about this. I'm seriously uncomfortable. I'm gonna go chill on the deck for now. See you guys later. Ah, I guess her stuff funny dark. I hope you really didn't scare her. It'll be fine. Lita is strong. I guess we should head back to... I should get the chat back to sign too. Not long until we reach the town again. We should arrive early in the morning. It won't be long now. Right, thanks. Perhaps we should head back inside. It's funny chilly out here. If you need someone to talk to, please don't hesitate to approach me. Fly, Jack. I can fly. Princess Oceana was like this. You're docking at the pier soon. He's doing this by himself. That's yeah, nothing up here. Kristen, I didn't expect to run into you so soon. You're of all places. Seems the ship was built in sparring. I mean, that's supposed to be a battleship. I don't know, the room has just been calling me lately. Hey, Tristan, how about we have a battle? It's how long our last one. We still have a whole day until we reach the town. This will help us pass the time. Besides, I want a rematch. I'm going to win this time. Okay. <laughs> strength is important. But there's more important battles than strength alone. It's important to remain diligent. Treat your opponent as equal. Understanding your opponent will only result in a loss. Kristen, I've gotten strong. Alright, she starts off with her token case level 30 Iron Citrus Berry. Forest Fear. Guided Arrow. I don't know what that is. Thunderwave Flamethrower. This isn't a toga kiss. This is her level 37 Zoro arc with a dread plate with guided arrow, nasty plot, flamethrower, shadow ball. Yep. Meganium 38 leftovers. Stun Spore, Nature Power, Stomping, Tentrum, Petal Dance. Oh shit, I like that. 
Snorlax, level 30, holding a Silk Scarf, Body Slam, Curse Crunch, High Horsepower. I like to not be paralyzed. Damn, I did more than 60 damage. Ow. Oh. Painful bunker. This is the real Togekiss. Ow, Thunder Wave. I didn't hear it. No idea what that is. Here's her Gardevoir. 38, Twisted Spoon, Shadow Ball, Guided Arrow, Dazzling Gleam, Wish. Wants to wish upon a star. And apparently Guided Arrow is special. Oh, Parasite. Dual Blade, Orca Berry, Brick Break, Iron Head, Shadow Claw, Shadow Sneak. I love that shiny spray. Give it to me. I'm the dead here. They're definitely dead here. Oh, finally, effects were kicked in. I oh, did nothing. <laughs> That's her best attack. When in doubt, let's bring in Team Eevee! Dun 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 Team Eevee! Dun 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 Keeping the poison type there. Team Eevee! Dun 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 I feel like Sylveon doesn't have any use. I like all of this, maybe. No, wait. We need the fire to deal dual blade. Probably over Togekiss. We actually don't need the Vaporeon to deal with anything. Out of our, we are, she knows we start off with Zoroark, so we start off with our fighting type. Mm -hmm. uh, we start off with Pancha. We keep these two, but then we go Team Eevee for the rest. Try that. We were guts. Uh. 
first. Who do you think high horsepower would be physical? Two curses. You think I can live a plus two from Hey, Leafeon can live that? I mean... All you have to do is switch into Leafeon and Swords Dance. When we take the Flame Car, we Vital Throw, which kills the Zoroark, because we're not burned. Firebark comes in. Chicks to Toxic Pack. Get hit by Guide Arrow, but we hit the Poison Jab. Switch into Leafeon. Towards Dance. Towards Dance. Guide Arrow must be Psychic. I can Guide Arrow then. Oh, maybe she's dropping a Jolteon in Sand Attack. Damn. Really hoping with plus six we can sweep. Paralyzed three nines. Damn, we're just gonna lose all our money at this rate.
What type of guided arrow? That arrow fairy? Holy shit. There we go. Lost way more money than I gained from that. Uh, even after all that training, I still wasn't enough to beat you. Somehow I'm happy you won. Nice to know you're improving. Anyways, like I said, we'll be docking in the morning. Soon we'll start our voyage. The SS Pioneer will drop off a lead of the SS Oceana people off. After that, I'll be off on my own again, back to where I came from. It was fun. Good night, Tristan. This morning. That was annoying. Rion ended up doing nothing. Leafeon sweeping for the win. Ultion, thanks for the stall. Leafeon, you swept the world. You are God. Your Espeon's really good with Psychic. I need to keep leaving on. <laughs> we dock. Good morning, Tristan. Did you sleep well? We just passed Neverwinter. We're close to reaching Evergreen Island, which means the town should be on the horizon. Say, hey, Tristan, you like to travel? I love to travel. Oh, really? That's really cool. I always liked the thing while you were training. As for me, I do like to travel. Been a few places outside the region, but not for very long. In terms of Avalon itself, I've only been on Route 1 in Grand Dream City. Grand Dream City is where I met Happy. It's embarrassing, but I think I named Happy because it was the only word I could say at the time. I was Happy. The professor always wanted to tease me about that story, but I never cared. By the way, how is Professor doing? He's in the void. So you're not interested or anything. He was adopted by someone. The irony is strong. Well, it serves him right for what he did to me. Hey, seriously, what's up with this fog? I don't know if it's weird, but I don't see any fog ahead of us. It's like the fog appeared around us. What is this? Jack, I'm flying! I'm flying! Someone's... It's not right here. Could it be? Everyone, stay on the sides of the ship. Hold on! Huh? What's going on here? Jack, I'm... Flying! Saki! Everyone, hold on to something! Uh, uh, is everyone okay? Bones hurt. That was rough. Is it just me, or has it gotten a lot warmer? No, you're right. It's a lot hotter. It's also the ship isn't moving. Of course it isn't moving. Look over there. No way, the ship's gone. But it can't be. 
The speech I've been here before a long time ago. This is the shore I ended up with on the beach belonging to Cheraja Island. The island, but it's impossible. We're coming up on Evergreen Islands, which is way north, not south. Well, we'll just jump off the ship apparently onto desert onto the beach. That's I can confirm this indeed a beach. It's a very nice shore. Been a tropical island. Skip I haven't been to a tropical island. This would be exciting. Under the same thought, but never uh never been to Tanja, right? The thing is there's much debate on. But why would she interfere like this? Sam is gonna check the teleport pad. Huh? Hello? There. Hey Sam, what's up, Alex? What's the code to the ship appearing outside the air and crashing alongside the shore? Huh? Oh, that's a code orange. Ah, I see. A code orange! Hey Sam, yeah. Code orange! What? I said code orange! Well, oh, definitely a code orange. Uh, hello, nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, you guys don't mind, but we're gonna have to take you to Kavaki Village questioning. Questioning, I suppose it appeared out of blue is unusual. But there's something I have to take care of first. Oh, that's right, Saki. I happened so fast, I nearly forgot. Well, the ship went through that, uh, thing. He was capsized off the shore of the island. Even though you weren't on the island yet, I doubt she's too far away. I expect us to believe that? It's a wild story. In fact, on closer inspection, the ship seems to have Team Zen banners all over it. Oh, yeah, we did take a Team Zen battleship. I didn't even notice it until you mentioned it. Sorry, but you can't fool us, Team Zen. This island is not free, free of your trouble, and we won't let it end. Wait, please, it's not what you think. Kristen, let's fight together. It doesn't matter, we'll protect the island. Okay. Of course, people, you know. Ow! Hurricane hurts. Zeus! I'm gonna use water then. Might as well use electricity. Can you guide an arrow PM, please? Tristan, we make a great team. Ah, we should go back to the village and inform Kawi. It doesn't matter. We're going to assist you and hand you over to Kawi. Would you guys just drop it already? Guys, drop it already. You're not part of Team Zen. We captured by them. We managed to escape. That's all there is to it. We still don't trust her. Just take a look at the trainer card. Ah, the trainer card. It's an official leak stamp on it. It's the same emblem as Kawi's card. It must be legit. You believe us now? It's hard not to. All right, fine. We believe you. These guys should probably get off the ship. They're indoor pier, just around the corner. You best to hide it there. Right. We'll get the ship off the beach, and uh, there's a slight problem. Don't worry. Pokemon will help us make a beach well that ran into the waters. After we get that saturated, I'll get you guys in the village and everything else. Thank you. We appreciate it. Back on the ship, and we are now docked. The next episode, we will explore Tangent and Shore. Thank you guys.